good afternoon everybody welcome back to the channel i am actually filming on a sunday it's easter sunday hope you're all having a lovely easter with lots of eggs me and sam finally have a day off together and we're gonna go down to blagden for a walk around the lake we've never been there before so i'm not too sure what it's gonna be like but we just want to get moving for a bit before it rains this afternoon putting these on very unsure about these converse i bought them in the same size as my other converse size four but these feel really big but they're cute though they're like the platform ones don't know if you can see but we're gonna go ahead there now so hopefully that should be lovely <laughs> Um, Sam made me watch this video the other day about someone making stuffed jacket potatoes and I've literally never thought of doing this before. Normally I lie the potato flat on the side, but if I try to stuff the potato back in, because I always scoop it out, put cheese in it, then put it back in, sometimes it cracks in half. But if you cut the bottom off so it stands up and then scoop this way, then it's less likely to crack in half. So that is what I'm doing. Sam, where are you? This is your one, this big one. I've also opted to make Kourtney Kardashian's Poosh salad, which she has every day, but she normally has chicken on it and avocado. Sam doesn't like avocado, so I'll put that on my plate in a minute. I'm gonna link the recipe below because I love a salad recipe. Cooking is like one of my favorite things ever. Not that this is really cooking, but I will link it below. I am actually the best to make a jacket potato. Don't even say that doesn't look fantastic. Good morning, everybody. I'm sorry if it's a bit wobbly. I'm on my way to the shops. I cannot remember what day I am of the challenge. Maybe like 17. And I'm just going on a walk because it's getting me outside a little bit more. I look really right. I think I've got the exposure up a little bit too much on my camera. But it's Easter Monday. I hope you've all had a lovely, lovely Easter. Loads of chocolates. I spent the morning studying. My brain was kind of switching off. So I thought I'd sip outside, get some fresh air, and then go back to it when I get home. psoriasis flare up on my head and in my eyebrows but i think it's because obviously last week i was kind of stressed and then so i just worked too many dogs last week i think i did about 18 dogs i killed myself i always do this like i work loads if i'm gonna have time off and then my time off is just me trying to get myself back together i really need to sort that out it's so hard and then i had like this morning sam's changed his alarm to a ringtone so it sounds like someone's ringing your mobile phone and the anxiety my lips are really dry that brings as soon as you wake up so tone went off and straight away i was like <gasps> i was like one of my clients is ringing me and i was like my heart was racing the second i was waking up and then i was just in one of those big old if you're self-employed you probably go for it a lot those just horrible debates whether you even want to be self-employed or not um 
there's two salons I kind of have been in contact with because it's not the grooming that makes me stress it's just everything else it's like whether i'm going to get paid enough each month whether people are actually going to show up whether people are actually going to pay their no-show pays um, no-show fees because the majority of people don't i'd say january and march i lost around 300 quid because people just don't want to pay but it, it is really hard because obviously i wanted to be self-employed because if i ever had a family i could work my life around my children if i did have children obviously if they're at school and stuff i can work shorter hours but the obviously the, the big downfall is i don't know if i've got a lip balm because i really need some downfall is so my mom was self-employed when we were little and she was like i literally went back to work two days after she gave birth and like me and my mom get on but we don't have like this huge connection i don't think and my dad's not really around so i was just like i don't really want that but it is really hard it's like do i go back to working in the salon where obviously it's a little bit less flexible i prob i probably would earn less money but the money would be consistent so i'd get the same every month and i'm guaranteed that and i think for me growing up money was like a big issue we we were growing up with a single parent that was self-employed so it was quite stressful and like money was always talked about in a negative light so for me knowing that there's some months that i'm not gonna earn very much makes me so stressed like so stressed and also we want to get a house we're hoping to get a house soon but it's so hard because i've only been self-employed a year and there's just not that much evidence well obviously there is evidence but like most people that want to accept you for a house want at least two years of work it's just ah oh, such a big thing to consider like the amount of times i wake up and i'm like i just want to go to a job like sainsbury's where i just turn up i do my job and i go home because it's just it is really stressful and i spoke to my mum about it and she was like i would never hold it against you if you went back self-employed because i understand i don't know i needed to get it out I, like my week is lovely i've got gorgeous dogs i got three dogs today which is good i'm not doing as many dogs this week so i think that will obviously be better i've only got one client this week that kind of makes me feel anxious <laughs> and it's never the dogs it's always the humans so hopefully it will be okay i guess as where are you going aslan come here handsome boy handsome boy so soft can i see you can we have a kiss? Thanks. You're a good bum, aren't you? Bum. What are you doing? Bailey's trying to get snacks. Sam, do you want some? I'm gonna make a pros and cons. Right. Pros of self-employed. Can you help me? Probably. Positives of self-employed are... I've never been self-employed, so I don't know the positives. Are you serious? No, but I'm self-employed. Um... I would say choose your hours, but not really. Still have to work a long ass day. Let's say choose your days. Choose your days. Choose a bit, choose your hours as well. Choose what day you're going to have your first hobby in. Yeah, but I, st I, I personally still work nine to five, so it doesn't really. Or I do nine to five. Yeah, but. Yeah, I guess, but obviously if I don't do those hours, I'm not going to earn enough. They're the same hours as what I do if I was employed. Right, this is my list so far. So, pros of being self-employed. So my pros are you choose your days and your hours. And you get to choose your product, how you run the business, what you charge and who you take on. And then the cons... Actually, we'll do pros of self... No, we'll do cons. Often overworked because it's hard to switch off because people are like... 
people want you all the time and your brain doesn't really switch off either. That's what you have a second home though, isn't it? Yeah, but it's it's still not that. That's not the point. Like I'm coming home thinking, oh my god, who's this person? When's this person coming in? Have I ordered that? Have I got this? Have I got that? Do I need to do my finances? Like you're just constantly like you're. It's just you're consumed. Yeah, yeah, but there are probably some people out there that don't do that, do they? You can just switch off. Yeah, but I for, I personally find that really hard. Then no sick or holiday pay. Like I I I find like if I go book holiday I work loads the week before but then I make myself poorly so then when I do go on holiday I don't even enjoy it because I'm just trying to sleep and catch up um it's a lot of pressure for me I find it's a lot of pressure constant worry if you're going to make enough money the next month or if people are going to turn up you have to do everything so tax cleaning calls stock grooms maintenance for for like your clippers your scissors your business finances all of that and you also have to deal with horrible customers on your own. I actually really struggle with that quite a lot. Yeah, I, know. I wish, like, like if I had someone, I feel like I would like my mind would settle a lot quicker. Whereas when it's just me, I just think I think about it for like five days. Then employed pros are you get holiday and sick pay and maternity pay. Obviously, you have a set wage and hours, so I think that's that can be a pro and a con. For me that's a positive because that's like some sort of like stability in my brain I know exactly what I'm getting each month I know exactly what hours I'm doing um friendship like you're not alone which I miss and also you just turn up to work and you can just leave like you can just come home and like I can focus on other things which I feel is like important like I feel like I find it hard to focus on other things that I enjoy because I'm so consumed with creating a business. Well, I can always tell you should do that individual. And then cons are obviously potentially less pay, no control over how, how it's ran, less flexibility. I don't know what else. I well, can't say... You don't like people you work for. Yeah, but... With. Don't always know who you're going to work with. Don't know how you're going to feel working with that person all of the time. That's true. Because I, I do like being on my own quite a lot as well. So that's, that's hard, isn't it, to find that balance. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Look at all of your hair everywhere. Oh, thanks, Ridge. That's nice. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, girly. Fix. Say hi. You're a happy boy, aren't you? I'm very hairy. We're going to use this new tool on you. Oh, yeah. So much hair is going to come out. Oh, that's nice. Oh! Hello, hello! It's about 3 p.m. on Wednesday. Sorry, we're only just chatting now. I've just finished work. I'm about to head Oh my god, what is going on with my neck? Is this really bad tan? Probably. Um, I'm heading down to the gym for a session now and then I'm gonna go meet one of my girls. So my I'm so literally like the luckiest person, but we my friendship group, there's about eleven or twelve of us, I think, of girls. None of us have ever fallen out. We've been friends since school, we all talk quite a lot. But I'm going to go down and meet Jam in her flat in Bristol because I just want her opinion on something. I feel like all your girls in a group do different things. Like, you call them for different reasons, don't you? Jam's, like, she's always honest, always. Like, no matter what. Even if, like, you don't want to hear the truth, she will say it. That's why I want to speak with her. And it's just, it's just, I just want her opinion about my work and stuff at the moment. I want to see what she would do in this situation. So I'm going to go down and see her, going to do a bit of flexibility and then just head home. I'm really tired today. Mm -hmm. 
You've been through why you got scars since you walked through the door. I've been trying to reach you because I feel you. What's the story to tell? What's the story behind the mountain you're trying to climb? Think I've heard it before in a movie line. We can ride. pizza wraps so i've got some red tomatoes mushroom red onion sweet corn and then i've also made one that i've like rolled into a wrap for my lunch tomorrow and sam is gonna make his over there to make the sauce amazing buy garlic passata where however however you say it add garlic to it it's amazing i also added some sun dried tomatoes to that and then i've got some parmesan and rocket and some water in a fancy wine glass yummy sam's roll is delicious mm -hmm. Thursday I have absolutely no idea what day it is but we got a day of doggos today wake up with anxiety every day <laughs> I would have been like celebrating this a few years ago I'm not celebrating but um there's just a lot going on in my mind at the moment so I feel really nervous every time I wake up because obviously the moment you wake up thoughts start again um I know it'll go once I start grooming because mentally I'm in a good place most of the time but yeah there's just a lot to think about at the moment I feel very unsure on my life I also want to do YouTube a lot more so I feel like that is my priority at the moment so ah, I don't know there's a lot of stuff going on but I've got a new dog this morning, Enzo. I think he had a really awful time. His mum messaged me to say he'd been traumatised at the groomers. Never really know what my thoughts are on this sort of response from a client because a lot of the time I don't think groomers go out of their way to traumatise the dog. They might not understand behaviour and psychology and that's led to a bad experience but I don't think groomers have tried to make a dog have a bad experience. And sometimes obviously if the guardian isn't willing to do work at home then then it's really difficult in a salon but i'm meeting him this morning and then i've got three lovely dogs this afternoon not heading to the gym today i think me and sam are going to do some mobility work here which will be fun <laughs> but yeah I, i'm being really rubbish at filming this week so i'll see see what i get up to can i just put some tinted moisturizer on i don't really like wearing a ton of makeup grooming because it all comes off <laughs> So about, mm, I don't know how many months ago it was, maybe three months ago, I stopped washing my hair. I haven't washed my hair currently for four days. And it's been doing so well. I just wanted um, my hair to grow a little bit. I've never really had it longer than what it is right now. I always get really bored and then I cut it off, but I feel like if Sam's friends watch this, they're gonna absolutely rip into him. But he was like, once your hair gets to a certain length. By the way, this isn't like a controlling or an aggressive tone at all. He's like the kindest, most gentle person. It's just a bit of a joke, but he he was like, once your hair gets to a certain length, I'll propose to you, but I'm, I'm not gonna tell you what length because it's because I've, I say I'm gonna grow my hair and then I cut it. And he's like, can you not just stick to what you're gonna say? Um, so that is currently what's going on. He says it's not long enough yet, which is fine because 
ideally if I grow it out I kind of want it to like boob level so yeah I haven't what I was saying is I haven't washed my hair for four days I don't normally wash I would normally I have been washing it once a week I have been hearing like mixed things about washing your hair and not washing your hair but honestly when I groom my hair gets so dirty and so greasy there's no point in washing it in the week because the next day is disgusting with dog hair so I actually just leave it um I don't put any heat on it when I'm working because it, I'm just in a humid space so it's gonna get all frazz like frazzled and it's gonna go all fluffy and stuff if I do style it and I don't really think the dogs care about my hair being styled or not um so yeah I I've only been washing it once a week I normally wash it on a Saturday or a Sunday and by that point I've got so much dry shampoo and hairspray in my hair it's pretty disgusting so I do need to invest in a clarifying shampoo I've seen that red kindy one which I think I'm gonna get because my Olaplex nearly ran out and also Olaplex doesn't seem to get product out of my hair which is what I need at the end of the week but yeah I've been doing that and my hair is so healthy um considering I've got blonde in it as well it's probably the healthiest it's ever been this is just a tinted moisturizer but it's really orange in this light I like a tinted moisturizer at work because oh, it's just I don't want to wear a full face of makeup grooming but I've got a new client this morning normally I don't even wear makeup but I've got a new client so I want to look a little bit presentable for them this is my all-time favorite concealer from nude sticks I don't know what color I use nude one but it's nearly run out honestly this has last, lasted me nearly a year I'd say it's so good and it's 20 quid I was a bit like oh do I really want to pay that much for it but it's well I don't know why I'm saying that I always buy really expensive makeup just because I don't wear it that often and I'd rather invest in good things especially because I suffered with really bad acne so I'd rather invest in good makeup but yeah, this is my all time favorite concealer ever. It's amazing. This is my very natural go to work look i don't really wear mascara in work either because the amount of hairs that get stuck in my eyes and i end up pulling out my lashes so i find if i don't have mascara on dog hairs don't tend to get stuck to my eyelashes but this is me ready to go to work very light natural for me <laughs> some bits up for my first dog so I've just I normally just check everything on the floor so they can kind of sift sniff it if a dog is scared of something they sometimes won't go near it like nail clippers and things got a snuffle mat so there's something positive as soon as he comes in loads of like chicken treats sprayed the room with cornflower and orange blossom which is really good for like calming or anxious dogs or dogs that find it hard to deal with separation got a cool mat some dogs like different textures I actually might put some balls and stuff out as well um, for a bit of some other enrichment. I've just had the little dog in for a meet and greet. Um, yeah, he seemed very cautious about touch. Couldn't really touch his face or his paws. And uh, the guardian said when they collected him from the last groomer, they turned up and they could hear them screaming at the dog. And then they got the owner to come in, hold the dog down while she groomed. That is just not how I work. I don't think that gets anything done because if the dog is stressed and it's showing signs of fear and then you're keeping it in the fear and then doing the thing it doesn't like, it's just gonna learn, wait, I can't trust you, you're not listening to me. So I just think that's crazy. 
Um, like for me, I, I get panic attacks when I eat in a restaurant and if I was in panic attack mode and I went in, I would just freak out, I'd break down. And if someone forced me to stay there, it would be absolutely awful and I'd probably be shaken for a few days. So that's exactly how the dog's gonna feel. And she said for days after he was like cowering, nervous. I just, that's not okay. So it's probably gonna take some work, but we can do it. We can do it. I've got Zoella Vlogmas on. I think it's like 2013. I love watching people's old vlogs. Um, but Luna is, this is tricky. I will show you what's going on. We've got treats in the lick mat. Don't know why we're watching Christmas in April, but we are. It's very hard to groom her, but we will show you what's happening. Ready? Can I have that one? Good girl, good girl. I need to brush. <gasps> well done! Look at you, good girl! Yeah. I really need to trim those legs, but I don't know if she's going to let me. Ready, this one? Wait. <gasps> wow, this is really good. This is really good. Good girl. Good girl. There we go. Good girlie. We're going to have to trim her on the floor, so a groom's not going to be great, but. Right. All right. Look. Good girl. This is my current situation. There is a dog on my head. Oh. oh, come on. I'm just reheating that pizza I had last night, but I burnt it a little bit, but I think it will actually be really nice because it's a little bit crispy. Yummy. I feel like all I show you is food, but I do love to cook, but I also feel like everything I show you isn't really cooking. I just spent the past hour listening to Zoella in the background. I love just, I love seeing what people get up to in a day. That's like my favorite thing to watch. I don't even watch YouTube for like tips on stuff. I watch YouTube to be nosy. And just, I like to have like a bit of background noise in the background. You know. Right, I'm gonna turn that off. How good, good this is. Like a little pizza bite. It's honestly so good. Mm. So the entrance here and Mr. Rose! Yay! We can have your hair cut! Hi! Bertie, this is my last dog of the day. Mr. Oatcake. Hey. Otie! Otis, he is an angel. Aren't you? You're my little angel boy. And. Gonna do a nice little full groom on you, aren't we? He always falls asleep. I just tried to give him some turkey and he just looked at me as if I was a peasant. <laughs> he's asleep, but he's awake. Did I wake you up? Did I wake you up? I'm sorry. Look at these lovely fluffy legs. Wowie. We're just finishing this side, it's not finished yet. Yummy. They're really nice, those chicken goujons. Those, do you wanna try a bit? It's got a sticky Chinese sauce on. Huh? So I'm testing those out tonight. I've never had these ones before. I don't normally like meat alternatives, but they're delicious. And then I've made a homemade sticky Chinese sauce, which is so, so good. With fried ginger and spring onions on top. I didn't know you could do that. Do what? Let you scan that and then it comes up. The website where you can get them from. Good idea, just in case people want to order them online, isn't it? These look so good. Look at that. QR codes, I think. Let's see it. It's like golden crispy. Have you ever seen like some of the shops they have in Japan? What? Yeah, but there's an Amazon shop in Wales, isn't there? Where you just walk in and it just charges you. I can't believe you tried some vegan chicken. Because you're normally like, no, I don't want that because it's vegan. No, you just like that. You are like that. 
Or I'll just try that. Hmm. So that means you can have meat free option. Well, no, if you were going to make that, I'd rather have a chicken breast. Yeah, but if you like these and I was cooking these, surely we would eat these. Fanta is my obsession. Did I always have Fanta when we first met? It's the only fizzy drink I think is worth it. You get a Sprite sometimes. Mm -mm. But Fanta's the top one. And these cans just feel better. Yeah, I only bought them because they were like Pine. thin ones. <laughs> I have like two sweets and they're gone. <laughs> yeah, that's good because you drink loads of fizzy. Oh. You do. At least two cans a day. No. Mm. I've now finished um, The Alchemist, Working Hard or Hardly Working, which is down there. And then there's some others that I've half started. I've half started The Four Desires, which my acupuncturist got me. And I've also half started Money Master Game by Tony Robbins. Not sure which one to read that first. I think I'm going to read this one because I have got further in that one. I think I'm going to read 10 pages of that before bed tonight. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> you lovely boy. It's Friday. I'm pretty happy it's Friday to be honest. <laughs> I got a little Coda Queen in. Cody. She's been really shy today. I'm not too sure why. Um, She's my little celebrity we've got like three point something million views on a video of her on instagram so she's my little my little celeb she's got the thickest coat i have ever seen let me show you don't really think you can tell from this video but she's not matted but it's just it's so dense it's obscene i can't believe how thick her coat is when i first groomed her i was like um she's matted but she absolutely is not you think she's so cute she's like a bear you're like a real bear oh my gosh look at me my ear hurts does anyone else feel like they stop breathing when they're concentrating on something i feel like i haven't breathed for that two and a half hours first two dogs first dog took nearly three hours marley's taken two and a half um i did have to have a break with him i've got a mask mark but um yeah, he was trying to bite me quite a lot today. So I had a break because it was making me really stressed. And then obviously he was picking up on my stress, which makes it more likely for him to bite me. So, um, yeah, I just needed a break. He's all good now. He didn't actually bite me, but he was just giving a lot of signals. So I was very conscious of aggravating him too much. We better message your mum because my next dog's in soon. Christ, I'm not gonna have a break today. Ellie, you fluffy. You were not happy with being groomed today, were you, Ma? No. Tiny mite. You're so cute. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Ooh. Friday dogs are done, so you know what this means. Friday gym session pending. I'm gonna have a really quick shower. I'm gonna have a coffee, but we all know what happened last time I had a coffee and I was up till 4am so we will see what happens and I'm going to try and listen to I've got a backbending seminar to listen to um because I find backbends really hard and that's what my session is today so hopefully I get a little bit better after this seminar but I will see you at the gym Forever and so does me.
It's 10 p.m. and we're only just cooking dinner. I'm about to make some Zizi's pasta. And the only chilies we had were the bird's eye chilies, and I'm pretty sure they're ridiculously spicy. And I got a new pasta shape because pasta's only good when you use different shapes. That one isn't very good actually. Let me get another one. Cute little pasta shape. Hmm. What are you looking at? What do you want? Sambalan? Sambi? Yes. Do you want to try a pasta shape? I'm recording you trying it. You're not in it. Can you come and find the It's just pasta. So it seems every other pasta. Yeah. It's extra special, isn't it, Bells? So we're about to just get into bed. I think we're going to watch one of the new Taskmasters because it's got Chris Ramsey in and we honestly listen to Chris and Rosie Ramsey's podcast all the time because it's absolutely hilarious. So we're going to watch some of that and then go to bed. So that's the end of the vlog. I will see you next week. <laughs>